got a rather shocking state of affairs uh, uh, in Carnegie and West Park was long, more long-standing, of course. Uh, but uh, I, uh, as a journalist, covered uh, the kind of uh, struggle of the 1980s right through the, uh, half a decade of uh, struggle and strife. Uh, and when the uh, Matignon Accord was signed in, uh, in 1988 and then following on from that, the Numea Accord, and 10 years later, I really did think that uh, France was uh, embarking on a... Uh, a real uh, rapprochement, if you like, of policy and the progressive policies uh, leading up to the three referendums. Uh, but then it's lost the plot. Um, and the 2003 referendum, which was held without Kana participation, uh, basically plunged uh, the kind of New Caledonia into a uh, very uh, terrible state of affairs. And it's all France is doing, uh, quite frankly. Um, I think uh, Paris has just not been listening to the Kana people. Uh, it's been not being prepared to sort of make the adjustments uh, and so on. Um, and uh, inevitably leading to um, real hostility and uh, that I think. I think they need to take a high profile role in support of Kana uh, at West Napa and uh, in the uh, uh, Threshold uh, for mission, uh, which represents uh, the independent countries of the Pacific, um, to really uh, argue for uh, changes in French policy. Uh, for example, uh, withdrawing that uh, policy that had about opening up uh, uh, the uh, uh, representation in terms of the uh, votes, um, uh, because it was against the principles of what the New Accord were under. Um, but also uh, putting pressure on Indonesia with uh, West Papua. Um, I should say that uh, I, I, you haven't asked me about this, but I think I should also mention Palestine as well, because essentially it's decolonization yeah. and what we've seen in the massive protests uh, over the last uh, nine months and so on worldwide is a, is a huge uh, realization in many countries around the world. The decolonization is still here after uh, you know, uh, thinking or assuming that uh, it should go on past uh, quite some years ago. And so uh, you'll see in a lot of protests, you know, we have uh, protests every week in uh, Zedil, and uh, the flags of uh, Karnaki, uh, uh, of West Papua, and the Palestine, and they're all together in the Palestine protests. Because people see this as symbolic of uh, uh, repression and uh, injustice all over the world, and uh, people want change. I think it's really uh, about uh, getting a lot more pressure within the UN uh, Decolonization Committee um, to uh, put a lot more pressure um, on France, both France and Indonesia, um, and uh, not just uh, sitting back. You know, I mean, for the Pacific countries, the um, uh, Pacific Islands Forum have asked for backfinding uh, 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 the culture from the land of the culture in West Park, for example, uh, and that hasn't happened. Uh, and, uh, frankly, there just has not been enough pressure put on uh, Jakarta to enable this to happen. And in the meantime, we've seen uh, Indonesia put an enormous political um, sort of a diplomacy effort, if you like, around the region to win, it won't win the hearts and minds of the people themselves, but it's been quite successful in winning over political uh, support from politicians around the region. And notoriously, I see a world at the moment where politicians are not listening to their own citizens. 